Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to another edition of Get Coached Up. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here on campus at East Stroudsburg University with Coach Chad Brain. Thanks for taking time, Coach. Thanks for having me. What am I getting coached up on today? Today, we're going to talk about our uh, goal line package, short yardage package. We like to call it our heavy package. We're a 3-3 uh, three, three stack team. And what we try to do is make our heavy package, our goal line package, as similar for our players as our regular base package so we're going to talk about that a little bit and when we use it why we use it some keys some some ways we align and and see if some some things you guys can learn some things about it well and, and, and it's great because as an offensive guy I tend to come in okay goal line red zone I know what I want to do so I'm always interested to see how guys adjust to uh, what I would like to throw out there from a formation or a personnel standpoint Right, and goal line defense, in in my opinion, is very, very uh, under. It's not talked about it very often because it's it's sort of the uh, old school thinking of the the old school 22 personnel group, which is when the personnel grouping. If you don't know, is uh, the first number with, with what we use and most guys use is first number is the number of backs, mm -hmm. and the second is the number of tight ends that are in the formation. Um, or, or in the game. So when we, when we see 22 personnel, we know that there's only a certain amount of formations our opponent can do. Um, so we talk about 22 personnel as being the top personnel um, grouping that offenses have used against us in these three situations. Mm -hmm. Third down and fourth and one, inside the three, inside the two. Those are the three categories that we're going to talk about using our heavy package in. Um, so I'm going to talk about just the personnel groupings that we've seen the last two years here at East Stroudsburg University. So based on uh, those situations, we, we took all third down and one, all fourth down and one, and then inside the three and inside the two and, okay. can, and put them all together. And what we came up with is it's, it's about 29%, 22 personnel, 28%, 11 personnel, meaning one back, one tight end, 18%, 12 personnel. And, uh, you know, the 12 personnel can change to be like a 21 personnel with the tight end backing off which mm -hmm. and becoming a fullback, which is very popular. So these are, can almost be interchangeable, which causes us some problems with teaching. And, I mean, there's now instead of having three formations, now you really have about seven formations that you have to prepare for. And then 10 personnel is, is, a, is uh, still a, a higher percentage than it used to be, but every year with the spread offenses, it's, it's getting to be a lot, a lot more common. So what we used to do is if it was one back and four wide, we would stay in our base. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you're on the one yard line, it's sort of silly. I mean, you, what happens is if the quarterback gets under center, you know, now he's going to go for a sneak, so now you're walking your linebackers up anyway. Right. So we have used our heavy package versus four, four wide and one back. So the formations that we're going to talk about based on these personnel grouping is, is flanker, and our, and our terminology may be different than others. Okay. Pro, which is 21 personnel. Dragon, which is a very unique name. It's a 21 <laughs> personnel set. Ace, we consider that a 12 personnel set. Trey is 11 personnel, and then Deuce and Trips, which are 10 personnel. Um, we called our heavy package. Our heavy package consists of five down linemen, three linebackers, and then it could be two corners and a free safety. It could be a strong safety. It could be three strong safeties, depending on how many wideouts are in the game. Okay. We can adjust that. So third and fourth, third down and one, fourth down and one, we called our heavy package 43% of the time. 
Often, that was based on their personnel grouping. If it's third and one in the middle of the field, we're not going to call our heavy package because we're thinking they're going to have two downs. Right. You know? So we're not going to bring in the heavy package because that's an automatic, hey, we're, we're throwing the football, try to hit the home run because they know we're going to be in zero coverage. Right. Inside the three, once again, it, you know, if, it, if they're in 10 personnel and it's on the three yard line, first and 10, and they're four wide, we're probably not going to bring in our heavy per heavy package. However, if they're in a 22 personnel, 21 personnel, and, and they have that reputation of being a, a run, running team, we're going to mm -hmm. run it down your throat, inside the three, we'll, we will bring it in. And then in 62%, once they get inside the two, and, and it's even higher once you get inside the one yard line. I just didn't have enough data to really make it relevant for you. Okay, so we'll talk about, we'll break down all the formations and uh, go from there.